He's the most widely known performer of reggae who became a true music legend in his own right. Take a look. He was the Jamaican superstar who introduced the world to the spirit of reggae music. But Bob Marley's life was cut short. Bob dedicated his musical life to giving us songs of struggle and songs of hope, messages he himself believed as he confronted his own deadly foe, cancer. Marley's cancer first appeared in 1977 as a malignant lesion under his big toenail. When doctors urged him to amputate the toe, he reportedly declined, citing religious reasons. Opting for alternative treatments instead of conventional chemotherapy and radiation, he battled on. Unfortunately, Marley's melanoma spread to his lungs and brain, causing his untimely death. So you know, it's hard to believe that he died at the age of 36 because Crazy. I still listen to his music all the time. I think yeah. people will listen to his music forever. Mm -hmm. But it's such a shame, and in this case, he succumbed to skin cancer, melanoma, the most lethal form of skin cancer, three types, squamous cell, basal cell, and melanoma. Melanoma is different because it arises from your pigment cells. That's why it gives that black hue. In his case, one of the more rare forms, it appeared in his large toe. Less than 5% of melanomas occur in your nail beds. It can be on your hands or on your feet. As you heard in the tape, his doctors recommended amputation. Typically, that is the treatment. If you have melanoma in one of your digits, toes, hands, remove that digit, and, and the, the uh, survival rate is quite good. For religious reasons, he didn't want to do that and uh, ended up getting what we call stage four melanoma. What that means is that it went beyond his toe, it went beyond his lymph nodes, it spread throughout his body, <clears throat> to his brain, and to his lungs. But, you know, the, the take home here is you need to be uh, your, your own advocate and study your skin. I think showing you two lesions here, I want you to get, get used to using the, the uh, ABCD classification to help you analyzing your moles. A is for asymmetry. Clearly, the one on the right, the benign, is symmetrical. The one on the left is asymmetrical. B, borders. The one on the left, the melanoma, has irregular borders. C, circumference. Typically, uh, melanoma's cancers are larger than typical molds. And color, color typically melanomas are darker. They have a much darker hue. They may have different hues in the same uh, lesion. And again, diameter, uh, size, larger lesions, more likely to be cancer. You need to take a look. If you have moles, keep an eye on them. Make sure you get yearly uh, exams. If you have light skin, you, ha you tend to burn. You're at higher risk for melanoma. Do it ABCD, and ABCD. Avoid UV radiation, use sunscreen. Sunblock. All make sure sunblock if you're at risk. A, a broad spectrum. And remember, even if you have dark skin, you're not immune to skin. And think well. about your feet. You know, a lot of us wear foot flops all the time. You know, put sunscreen on your feet if you're wearing foot flops. You're out there barefoot, right?